guys. Gary Harvey here from Suffolk, Virginia. Uh, here to talk about my bike. Um, my bike is a 2000 FLSTS. It's a Heritage Springer soft tail, um, 113 cubic inch. Uh, we got the forward sweep uh, dual 42 uh, carbs on it. Um, a lot of, lot of time, a lot of history in this bike. Uh, the paint job is 23 years old. Uh, Mike Boyce out of Lisbon City painted the bike uh, 20 years ago. Um, I don't know if you guys probably can't see this in the video. It's got over 113 bar and shields for the rivets in this bike all throughout the paint job. Uh, I kind of asked him how the paint job was going and he said he's been, spent, he's been painting bar and shields for three days. So anyway, uh, it's, it's a blast to ride. Um, I'm starting to move into a little bit of engraving as you can see down here. Um, uh, I'm to, to the point now where I'm just going to start trying to fully engrave the bike. Um, at this point in time, that's the only avenue I have to move forward with this. Um, it's a blast to ride. It's very, very fast. Um, and I have drag raced it a few times uh, at all Harley drags. And uh, it does pretty dang on good. I'd like y'all to look in here. Uh, this is Butch Watson out of uh, Greensboro. He does a heck of a job. Uh, I, I wasn't used to the price of things, you know. Um, I, this bike is 23 years old. And when I when I did this paint job, uh, you guys probably won't believe this, but uh, this was this was like a $2,500 paint job 23 years ago. Today, this thing right here would probably take you in excess of $10,000 to paint this bike the way it is now. Um, I did uh, go as far as to put the eagle claw tiling for the passenger pegs, and, uh, and if you walk around here, you can see that my kickstand is a matching stand to match the uh, passenger pegs as well. Uh, I got the old stop tail light on it. Thank you.